Hey, hey, I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk a little bit of Monday night football action. I don't know what we've done to be so blessed by the football gods to get a Cooper Rush, Daniel Jones Monday night football game, but hey, here we are, so we might as well get together and talk about it. Before I get into some of my favorite plays, and there's some weirdness going on in this one, I'm telling you, Richie James, Sterling Shepard, I mean, it's going to get strange. Before we get into that, make sure you go to the website, use promo code BEASTIE, You'll get $10 off your first month of premium services, and that includes everything, the stacks, the the pivot tools, the study hub. People are winning a million dollars around here. That was last weekend, but hey, week two, but who knows what the heck's going to happen here in week three. This game, Dallas at the Giants, this is the last game of week three, and then we got to turn our attention to week four. But hey, again, Cooper Rush v. Daniel Jones, does it get any better than that? Yeah, but hey, here we are, contractually obligated to talk about Monday Night Football. So let's just get right into it. When we look at this one, the over-under is something that just like, it's like a red neon light. It's only at 39, over-under 39 points. And that's very low, especially for a game where you're getting the Cowboys and the Giants to what we thought were going to be prolific offenses. But how far can you get with Daniel Jones? And Dak is gone. We know, well, no, he's not gone. He didn't die. Hurt his thumb. He'll be back. But Cooper rushes the quarterback so they're throwing this Vegas is throwing this all into a melting pot and this is what we get so let's let's deal with what we got that's the best we can do right and again yeah I've got my full notes some highlighted stuff some DVP so we're going to get right into it Cooper Rush when you look at him Dallas is playing uh, in New York at what is that MetLife Stadium them and the Jets share uh, share it when you look at Cooper Rush he's 14 grand on FanDuel 9.6 on DK and $21 on Yahoo I have Cooper and Jones, I mean, almost identical stat lines. I know I say that, I've said that before, but when you do so many videos and you go over every single game slate like this, stuff like this is bound to happen. I got Cooper Rush, 20 completions, 21, something like that, 235 yards, couple carries, another 10 yards. I do think he throws one touchdown pass, which would be more than Kyler Murray got yesterday, 300 plus yards and not a touchdown pass in sight. But hey, uh, we'll save the, the Arizona slander for another day. Daniel Jones, look at him, what he's got going on. The Giants are playing Dallas. Dallas is seventh overall against opposing quarterbacks. And we look at DJ, uh, 15 grand on FanDuel, 9-4 on DK, 24 bucks on Yahoo. Daniel Jones, I mean, between you and me, uh, is he the guy? Is he ever going to be the stud savior of uh, New York Giants football? No, but right now he is their professional quarterback. So in a way, we do we have to respect that? I mean, in the DFS format. I I don't know uh, if I would use him today, but this is what I have. 20 completions, 230 yards, four or five carries for another 30 yards, and I do have him for at least one touchdown pass here. So again, I like where my head is at, or I like where our collective heads are at right now based on the single game slate. If we look back through uh, what we've done so far this season, it hasn't been much. We're only three weeks in. This is the end of week three here. Uh, these single game slates, I have mainly faded both quarterbacks, and we've gotten away with it. And I think we can get away with it here tonight with Cooper Rush and Daniel Jones. Let's talk about the running backs and the wide receivers. That's where the action is. Zeke Elliott, Tony Pollard, Saquon Barkley. Now we're talking, right? When you look at Zeke, he's 12 grand on FanDuel, 8-4 on DK, 20 bucks on Yahoo. Right now, the Giants, they are 22nd overall against opposing running backs here. When we get to the wide receivers, the Giants are first overall. I don't know why I had to, you know, you know, grab the video to a screeching halt to say that the Giants are really good against wide receivers, but hey, it happened. When you look at Zeke Elliott, 15, 16 carries. I know 16 seems a little bit uh, optimistic, but when you look at at the matchup here, Giants on the road against a foe, a Div- NFC East divisional foe, they're going to want to just pound the football, right? And with him, Zeke and Pollard, they can get that done. So as I said, you're looking at Zeke, 15, 16 carries, about 70 yards. I think that's a little generous, 75 would be generous. So let's just say 15 carries, 70 yards, two, three receptions, another 14 to 15 yards. And this is the whole thing. Now, normally when you get to the running back section, it's like, it's easy for me to just place touchdowns. You know, I I look at it, you know, I look at my notes and I'm able to delegate right in a way. I'm not, uh, not an important man. I'm not a touchdown God, certainly not touchdown Jesus like Notre Dame. But when it comes to a DFS slate, I'm able to just like see it in 
my brain. I'll go, you get a touch like Oprah. You get a touchdown. You get a touchdown. And right now with these running backs, I don't see. I, I, I'm not placing any touchdowns with these running backs until we get to Barkley. So anything that Zeke does outside of his receptions and his yardage would be a bonus. And at his price tag, 12K on FanDuel, 8-4 on DK, he's very touchdown dependent on FanDuel. So therefore, I would prefer to use Zeke on uh, in DK formats and then Tony Pollard on FanDuel. When you look at Pollard, he's 10000 on FanDuel, but that 2000 bucks that you save gives you a little bit of leeway. And then on, on DraftKings, Tony Pollard is 8200 bucks, 15 bucks on Yahoo. I have Tony Pollard about his, you know, his normal workload, right? 10 or 11 carries, 50 yards would be nice in three or four receptions for another 25 to 30 yards. So you're looking at Zeke is to be used on DraftKings based on his price. And then I love the idea of Tony Pollard on FanDuel based on the receptions and his total yardage. And if he just happens to find the end zone, that's even better. When we go down and look at the New York Giants, it's all about Saquon Barkley. Is he back? He has looked fantastic. He has looked outstanding. So let's hammer that home. One thing I will tell you, Dallas, 10th overall against opposing running backs. But I've gotten this, this uh, in the last few videos, I've mentioned a few players. I mean, every team's got that one guy. Some teams are lucky enough to have two that are not matchup proof, but DVP doesn't matter. And Zeke, or excuse me, Barkley, was in the first year or so, even coming out of Penn State, Saquon Barkley was that unicorn, right? He was untouchable. He was matchup proof. And then injuries have gotten in the way. But right now, fingers crossed, I, I can't believe I even jinxed that and said it out loud. But right now, at this date and time, Saquon Barkley looks outstanding. So DVP be damned. I don't care. Saquon Barkley, 14-5 on FanDuel, 11-8 on DraftKings. And then on Yahoo, he's 29 bucks. When we look at Saquon, I am going to be very bullish on his projections. I'm thinking 18 carries, 17, 18 carries, 80 yards, and then three, maybe four receptions for another 30 yards. So we're looking at at least 110 all-purpose yards, and he will find the end zone on the ground. So by that standard, so far, so good. By the standard, we've talked about Rush and Daniel Jones and the Dallas uh, running backs here. You would have to say that on in a showdown or a captain mode, Sa uh, Saquon would absolutely be MVP or captain, and you would be right. As we go down the list, Gary Brightwell, Matt Breida, what's the issue here? I mean, when you look at those guys, Breida, if you're in a pinch and he's on DK, he's still two grand. I mean, if, 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 you know, Breda was 200 bucks, 400, maybe something else. But if, if you're going to fade Saquon Barkley, you know, Godspeed, and I wouldn't bother with any other Giants uh, running backs, and we'll leave it at that. Brightwell or Matt Breda. I mean, what are we doing here? When we look at the wide receivers, it gets a little hairy for both sections here because Cooper Rush is the Dallas Cowboys quarterback. And then on the New York Giants side, Daniel Jones is the Giants quarterback here. So we have to temper some of our expectations, right? C.D. Lamb is the, the the wide receiver draw on this one. He's the wide receiver one, you know, of this entire game, right? What are we going to compare him with Shepard, Richie James, even Darius Slayton, and God forbid Kenny, Kenny Galladay looks like he's 70 years old. But when you look at, at, at C.D. Lamb here, 13 thousand bucks on FanDuel. On DraftKings, CD Lamb is 10-2 and on Yahoo, he's 19 bucks. And I will say this, I know I preemptively just jumped the gun here and said that the Giants, they're first overall against opposing wide receivers and that's okay, but when you look at this, they've got no other game in town, right? Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. You got uh, Zeke, you got Pollard, so you're going to be okay, but Lamb, I have about 7-8 targets, 5 receptions, and about 70 yards. Is 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 Lamb going to find the end zone? That's the only thing that I, I, I can't, what I was telling you about five minutes ago, delegating where I do that and, and how I move those pieces around here. So for me... Uh, I, this might be a crazy move, but I, I'm I'm hands off C.D. Lamb on Monday Night Football tonight. I just can't do it. His price tag is too high, and I don't think he, I don't think he's going to hit value for 13 grand in a single game slate. You'd have to have him in an MVP spot, captain spot, and he'd have to be get what 28 to 32 points to just justify that price tag. And I just don't see it, given the fact that Cooper Rush, with with his his lack of completions or his lack of 
arm strength. I don't know. I, I'm just not seeing it. Uh, Noah Brown makes for a better move, but on FanDuel, Noah Brown is eight grand. DK six eight five six targets, three four receptions, and forty yards. The big news here is Michael Gallup looks to be uh, active tonight. And what are we going to get out of Gallup? And I, I don't know, but I'm not paying eleven thousand bucks for Michael Gallup uh, first game back after uh, you know tearing his ACL or, or getting his knee you know redone from the ground up here. So Michael Gallup eleven grand on DK. He's seven four, and on Yahoo fourteen bucks, four five targets, three four receptions, forty yards. Again, his price tag is way too expensive for me, given the fact that uh, Cooper Rush is the quarterback, given the, the the DB matchup against the Giants here. So what I'm saying is, I am fading CD Lamb. I am fading uh, Michael Gallup here, and maybe we're just gonna have to lean on the Dallas Cowboys running backs and even toss in a little bit of a uh, Cavante Turpin if you want to go there. He's only 5'5 five, five on FanDuel, 600 bucks on DK. See, so that's so we're going to fade uh, C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup in favor of Turpin. Uh, that's a great idea, Chris. Well, hey, just talking talking out loud on camera. When we look at the New York Giants uh, wide receivers, I have Sterling Shepard, a graphic made. Boom, there it is. Uh, Richie James Jr., graphic made. Boom, there it is. When you look at Sterling Shepard, 11'5 on FanDuel. On DraftKings, he's 7'6", 13 bucks on Yahoo. Richie James, I might as well leave both graphics up the whole time. You look at him, 10-5 on FanDuel, 5-4 on DK, and $10 on Yahoo. Let's go back to Sterling Shepard. Seven targets, five receptions, 50-60 yards, and Richie James Jr. has been a, a, a delight, a bright spot for the Giants, for Daniel Jones, uh, in favor of, of, of what's his name? I have him written down here. Uh, Kadarius Toney, Wandale Robinson. These young up-and-coming kids have yet to do anything because they've been hurt and you get a guy, a journeyman in a way, Richie James, coming from San Francisco, if I'm not mistaken, Middle Tennessee State, and he's kind of shown a little flash here, and that's okay. When we look at uh, Richie James, six targets, great to see, four receptions, 50 yards here. So when we look at Shepard and James, as I said, on FanDuel, 11-5, 10-5, you're looking at $21,000, dollars wrapped up into two New York Giants wide receivers, and you stack that with Barkley, and I think we have a nice little three-man core here and we're off and running you could put in Pollard and, and, and Zeke in whatever fashion you want when we look at the tight ends literally nothing going on I don't think Dalton Schultz, Dalton Schultz plays he might have already been uh, labeled inactive on Sunday night or early uh, Monday morning here so you're left with Jake Ferguson uh, 7 5 on FanDuel on DK Ferguson is 200 bucks that's all good I'm looking at four or five targets couple receptions no more than 20 or 25 yards but here's that that thing with with Jake Ferguson is he going to find the end zone? And we're like, damn it, we should have, you know, had Jake Ferguson in our lineups that for 200 bucks, he's worth the risk on DK. On the New York Giants Giants side of things, not much to like. Daniel Bellinger, Tanner Hudson. Uh, Bellinger is 6'5 on FanDuel, 4'4 on DK. Tanner Hudson, five grand even on FanDuel. The lowest it gets, and he's 1,600 bucks. I have Hudson, two, three targets, one, two re uh, receptions, nothing crazy, 15 yards, something like that. When we look at the kickers, um, it is what it is. Brent Maher, Graham Gano. I think this game is going to be about the, the running backs with a, a few little pieces of, of wide receivers, as I said. Shepard and Richie James. When we look at the, the DSTs here, the Giants or the Cowboys here, of the two, I mean, a, a, as shocking as it sounds, I have the Giants to lose this one, but I would prefer them on DK at only 3800 bucks, just based on the fact that maybe Cooper Rush will make a mistake with the football. And, and one strip sack, one interception, Exception, uh, you're looking at what is that eight points or something like that so they could return value on one play final score which I'll just give out we're looking at 14 minutes and I've, I've these videos have been long and I've just been very passionate and long-winded on these things I'm gonna go with the Dallas Cowboys to win this one 24 to 17 so when you add that up two plus one is three plus seven so you're looking at about 41 or 42 total points just give or take margin of error there so the over under of 39 the over would come in by a point or two so if you got the stones have at it if not uh, you can look at my notes you can rewind this video and we'll go from there Dallas 4-0 their last four games against 
against the spread on the road. All you need to know, along with the fact that Dallas is 8-2 and two of their last 10 games against the Giants against the spread. So I am Chris, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie. Make sure you get to the website. Uh, use promo code Beastie. You'll get a couple bucks off your first month. And hey, who knows what will happen between now and then. And I will see you again for Thursday Night Football. Until then, be good, be safe. Bye-bye.